Um, it is an honor to be here with Robert Brewer and, um, and his staff and his team. We thank you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the donation. And it's not only the donation that you provided the Proyecto Mismo Mons Orlando, but it's also your support. And many times um, the LGBT community um, feels rejected and you were here to stay present. Thank you for that. Personally, as a Christian, it means a lot that you wanted to come into our space and not have us come to the church because it means a lot that you're, you're being that beacon of light in the community. In times of darkness, when there's pain and there's darkness and there's hurt, you're here to say I'm present and that means so much to us. And we thank you. I wanted to present um, our new Proyecto Somos Orlando director. Um, we are so grateful to have Ricardo lead this mission. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> so, since the last time we were here, we've grown a little bit. <laughs> that was about seven months ago that you visited. And from since then, we've served 65 persons who were directly affected by what happened at Post by offering them over 400 services. We've also served hundreds of people from the community that just can't come in and find a safe space where they can be themselves, where they won't be rejected. They can come, meet new communities, get educated, and live, you know, a peaceful life. But those are just numbers, and this is more than numbers. Personally, for me, this space, I was a fool. A survivor of hope. And this space, this space is hope. It's hope for the community that we're not alone. That we can have a space where we can be ourselves. And we're very thankful for your very generous donation and for how you have stemmed with the community. For that, I want to thank you. And I want to welcome you to this space. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, sure. I, uh, I was drawn to Somos Orlando because as I began to get directly involved with some of the families of the victims of the Pulse shooting, it was very clear that especially in the short term, they had very few people who were willing to step in to the place of offering emergency aid. Uh, a lot of the other funds were waiting for other kinds of administrative development. You all were already ready and you were there willing to support and provide particularly emergency assistance to people for whom there were almost no other options. And that is because when I think about what this community, the community of Orlando needs, it needs agencies that say, we care about people and we want to stand with them and find ways to support them, especially when they are people who are forgotten or marginalized by others. I, I'm a Christian, so for me, that's what Jesus does. Um, and so when I saw that that was the commitment, that's what I wanted to support and be a part of. I'm thrilled at your development. Congratulations on the new directorship. And therefore, I'm very, very excited to be here. Thank you. And I also wanted to introduce our two founders of Proyecto Somos Orlando, Nancy and Sami. If you have a few words to share with us. For us who, who, who were here from the beginning, it, it was a labor of love and an obligation to the community to, to see something formed that would immediately respond to both the LGBTQ community and the intersection that it has with the Latino community. We understood that culturally competent and linguistically competent counseling was urgent and important um, to develop and to, to ensure for the future so that the survivors of this terrible tragedy, this terrorist incident, would not suffer the same fate as many of those out in New York with 9-11 who continue to suffer to this day. We knew we needed to plan, we knew we needed to create, and we did. And we have I think develop the safest space for them. We have developed, I think, the more secure and ongoing project we could possibly come up with to ensure that they would not suffer later on. That there would at all points in time be a safe space in which to express themselves and in which 
they could feel that someone cared, that a community cared, enough to invest, enough to give time, and enough to give the right kind of care that would secure them for the future. <laughs> We are very, very grateful for everyone who's just pulled together, you know, um, from a volunteer basis, you know, as, as Nancy mentioned, you know, we, we just tried to step in and just to see it take flight, you know, and get the support from so many sectors and also from you guys it's just absolutely wonderful we're happy I'm not here as often now because it's really taking shape you know and so we just want to continue to support in any way that we can but we know that the community is in very very good and very capable hands mm -hmm. thank you thank you Reverend De Brewer for showing us that God's love is unconditional thank you for showing us that the church is, is with us and, and, and has open doors for the LGBT community. Thank you. And then the check. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take it back. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. happy to say that this check actually is representative of donations that came in not just locally but from other parts of the country as we became the focus of a lot of people's concerns a number of people stepped up and say we want to give you pick the organization we trust you to make that decision but we want to be a part of it and that's how this amount of money came to be here thank you thank you that's awesome thank you, thank you. Thank you. And then we wanted to take this time um, to ask you to bless this space, actually. Sure. To say a blessing um, for the staff, um, for the organization, for all the volunteers, for all the service providers, and absolutely for the victims' families. I, knowing that you were asking me to do this, I ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. always prepared. Yeah, this this actually is a, a priest stole that was made by a woman in New York. In, and she who makes these and the name all the names on it are the names of the victims wow. and um, and the scripture blessed are they who mourn for they will be comforted and blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of God and it seems to me that certainly to pray that especially for those who grieve and those who are willing to be peacemakers this is the right place for them to come so let us pray together. Gracious Lord, you say that when you enter into a household, say, peace be to this house. And so I do speak that peace, Lord, the peace that you bring, where things are made right and people are made whole. And so pour out the grace of that kind of peacemaking into the life of this organization, where people could come here and feel the kind of hope and wholeness that is really the, it's the product of your great love that you have for each one of us. So may that peace and that love and that mercy be here always, Lord, a place for healing and for hope. And therefore, we bless this place in your name, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.